Philip Godot Ministries presents A Father's Heart with Dr. Philip Godot. He's a pastor, man of God, with more than 30 years in ministry, and Dr. Brenda K. Godot, the First Lady of Calvary Christian Center, teaching the uncompromising Word of God. Today's message. When fear comes in, it comes in to dig in. It comes in with an intention to destroy everything good in life. And if you don't deal with it, and the only thing that will cause fear to leave your life is faith. Because you are either in faith or you're in fear. There is no gray area. You're not no in between. You're either in faith or you're in fear. Dr. Philip Godot. Don't forget to take out your smartphones and tablets and tweet and post during today's message. This message is impacting and transforming lives around the world. Here's what people are saying about it. Because we've given the enemy too much power and people have to be taught again what their authorities, their rights and their privileges are. Because basically you need faith to propel you to the next level. I mean, without faith you're just stuck right there on the ground. And then when things come at you, you need to press in even harder and you know, surround yourself with people that are only going to lift you up. And if you put that armor on, when that time comes, you'll be prepared. Build your faith today. Matthew, the 14th chapter. Matthew 14. Are you there? Matthew, the 14th chapter. And look what it says here in Matthew 14. In Matthew, the 14th chapter. Let me know when you get there. And look with me in verse 22. And it says, And straightway the, the, uh, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and to go before him unto the other side. And while he sent the, the multitude away, and when he had sent the multitude away, he went up into the mountain apart to pray. And when the eve was come, uh, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with what? And for the wind was contrary. Now, how many know any time you start going in the right direction? How many of y'all ever try to do the right thing and look like all hell broke loose on y'all? As soon as you start trying to pull things together, start trying to do something, start trying to pull your life together, look like every devil showed up. Amen. And, uh, but... But see, then you should know by faith that you're at least on the right course because somebody, things are starting to happen. Jesus said, let's go to the other, go to the other side. And then he said, while they were going, he said, the winds became contrary, adverse, very, very uh, attacking, buffeting them. Then it says here, uh, and then it says, uh, and it went apart. And then it says in verse 25, and in the fourth watch in the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. Now, and it says that when the disciples saw it, saw him walking on the what? See, they were troubled. Would you underline that? Trouble. They were troubled. Trouble. I'm just going to tell you something. I'm just going to tell you. Uh, if, if I, I would have been out there, I'd probably have been troubled myself. <laughs> No, because I mean, how many people have you seen walk on the sea and they get in the midst of a storm? I, I sort of feel for the disciples a little bit. All right, I know y'all don't, but I'm just saying I feel a little I feel for the brothers. They they out there and they said and they saw him walking on the sea in the middle of the night and they and and then the, and and here they come walking on the water in the midst of the storm. Yeah, yeah, okay, all right, forget y'all. Okay, here we go. And then it says, and they said, it is a spirit. And they cried out for what? Fear. How many of y'all have ever had to deal with fear in here? Anybody ever had to deal with fear? If you don't have your hand up, you're lying right now. Come on, everybody get your hand. <laughs> huh? We all have had to deal with fear. Huh? I was on the plane coming in here last night, coming back here from Houston last night. And all of a sudden, he's, this guy, he started off acting up in the beginning of the flight. And then it started, then, they, then the other ones started cutting up. And it was some people just acting crazy on my plane last night, and the devil tried to throw fear on me. I wish y'all could feel me right now. I mean, I'm a man of faith, but the fear tried to come on me and said, you know what? These guys going to do something crazy. Then I started trying to figure out, who am I going to grab first? (laughs) 
I'm trying to look around this, wonder who can help me. I'm looking at this guy, he can't, he's too old, this one here too old, maybe this one might help. I'm trying to figure out, I'm getting, in, I'm getting into fear, come on y'all. Yeah. I'm trying to figure it out. All of a sudden I had to say, man, shoot, you know what, I cast this down. Hey, this plane ain't going down, these guys ain't going to act crazy, but I just keep my eye on them in Jesus' name. I just keep my eye on them. Anybody know what I'm talking about? I hate fear. Come on. I hate fear. Fear, you know what the word fear means? It means that it, fear comes to be able to attack you, to try to destroy you. Fear has three objectives. To rob you of the life that God has promised you. Wow. You write that one down? Fear comes to rob you of the life that God has promised you. Number two, fear has a spirit of torment. It comes to torment you. How many of y'all have ever been tormented by spirit? Fear. Amen. And then fear, and then fear comes to put you in bondage. Yes. 